Revelation 1 chapter, Revelation chapter 1 verse 3 says, Blessed is he who reads aloud the words of the prophecy, and blessed are those who hear, and who keep what is written therein, for the time is near. Revelation 4. After this I looked, and there in heaven a door stood open, and the first voice which I had heard speaking to me like a trumpet said, Come up here, and I will show you what must take place after this. At once I was in the Spirit, and there in heaven stood a throne, with one seated on the throne. And the one seated there looks like jasper and carnelian, and around the throne is a window, is a rainbow that looks like an emerald. Around the throne are twenty-four thrones, and seated on the thrones are twenty-four elders, dressed in white robes, with golden crowns on their heads. <clears throat> Coming from the throne are flashes of lightning and rumblings and peals of thunder. And in front of the throne burn seven flaming torches, which are the seven spirits of God. And in front of the throne there's something like a sea of glass, like crystal. Around the throne and on each side of the throne are four living creatures, full of eyes in front and behind. The first living creature like a lion, the second living creature like an ox, the third living creature like a, with a face like a human face, and the fourth living creature like a flying eagle. And the four living creatures, each of them with six wings, are full of eyes all around and inside. Day and night, without ceasing, they sing, Holy, 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 the Lord God the Almighty, who was and is and is to come. And whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to the one who is seated on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the twenty-four elders fall before the one who is seated on the throne and worship the one who lives forever and ever. They cast their crowns before the throne, singing, You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. And I saw in the right hand of him who was seated on the throne a scroll written within and on the back sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? And no one in heaven on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look into it. And I wept much that no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to look into it. Then one of the elders said to me, Weep not, lo, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered so that he can open the scroll and his seven seals. And between the throne and the four living creatures and among the elders, I saw a lamb standing as though it had been slain with seven horns and with seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. And he went and took the scroll from the right hand of him who was seated on the throne. And when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, each holding a harp and with golden bowls of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song, saying, Worthy art thou to take the scroll and to open his seals, but thou was slain, and by the blood this ransom men for God from every tribe and tongue and people and nation and has made them a kingdom and priests to our God and they shall reign on earth. Then I looked and I heard around the throne and the living creatures and the elders the voice of many angels numbering myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, 
Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessings. And I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all therein saying, To him who sits upon the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshiped. <clears throat> Revelation 6. Then I saw the Lamb open one of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures call out, as with a voice of thunder, Come! I looked, and there was a white horse. Its rider had a bow. A crown was given to him, and he came out conquering and to conquer. When he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature call out, Come! And out came another horse, bright red. Its rider was permitted to take peace from the earth, so that people would slaughter one another and he was given a great sword. When he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature call out, Come! I looked, and there was a black horse. Its rider held a pair of scales in his hand, and I heard what seemed to be a voice in the midst of the four living creatures, saying, A quart of wheat for a day's pay, and three quarts of barley for a day's pay, but do not damage the olive oil and the wine. When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature call out, Come! I looked, and there was a pale green horse. Its rider's name was Death, and Hades followed with him. They were given authority over a fourth of the earth to kill with sword, famine, and pestilence, and by the wild animals of the earth. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slaughtered for the word of God and for the testimony they had given. They cried out with a loud voice, Sovereign Lord, holy and true, how long will it be before you judge and avenge our blood on the inhabitants of the earth? They were each given a white robe and told to rest a little longer until the number would be complete, both of their fellow servants and of their brothers and sisters, who were soon to be killed as they themselves had been killed. When he opened the sixth seal, I looked and there came a great earthquake. The sun became black as sackcloth. The full moon became like blood. And the stars of the sky fell to earth as the fig tree drops its winter fruit when shaken by a gale. The sky vanished like a scroll rolling itself up, and every mountain and island was removed from its place. Then the kings of the earth and the magnates and the generals and the rich and the powerful and everyone, slave and free, hid in the caves and among the rocks of the mountains, calling to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of the one seated on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come, and who is able to stand? Man, some of that imagery and that language is an antidote to me to the news of the week. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to us. Some of it's very disturbing, but it's beautiful language, I think. 